In an effort to help our furry friends find a forever home, we're partnered with the folks at the Chautauqua County Humane Society for our Pet of the Week segment. Joining us live today, Brian Papalea, to talk more about this week's featured furry friend. And uh, she's just as curious, I think, as uh, some of the cats that we've had uh, in Brian. <laughs> she really is. This is Cheyenne. Cheyenne is two years old. Um, she has, as far as we know, no cat restrictions. She's good with kids. She's just an awesome, energetic dog. She would love a family that is active. Um, because you know we've been out with her now this is my first experience with her we've been out with her for a little over an hour and she is just you know when we get in the car she's awesome in the car she just kind of plops down and hangs out but when she's able to be out and about here it's a good stretch um she's just fantastic yeah really and and she came into the studio during the break and uh, usually you can tell right away what type of dog uh, is there and she, she came up, said hello to everybody, pretty respectful, didn't really yeah. jump on you, just wanted you to pet her, wanted you to say hello. Finding a dog that's that mannerismed, uh, I know you guys do a lot of work with trying to help with behavior. Do you think that maybe helps in that sense of she, she's ready for a family? Yeah, um, she, Cheyenne is definitely ready to go. Um, she's met, we actually stopped and visited my wife on the way through and you know she was very the same way like you were saying respectful right. and you know eager to be pet and be around her um people to shelter love her so yeah absolutely and uh her blue eyes is something that i think is just so beautiful when 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 you look at animals a perfect white coat good blue eyes um and 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 that personality is 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 incredible so um our, our friend cheyenne here as brian mentioned is available right now she's uh, watching uh, go on over to chq humane.org and yeah she's watching herself on the uh, the playback monitor she's like what is going on why is it following me who's that dog <laughs> <laughs> um so and you you heard that dogs like to watch tv have you have you heard about that um I, we don't actually they don't are the dogs at the shelter don't really have access to tv okay. but it does make me wonder because yeah. we ha this is not the first time we've brought a dog that was interested in seeing right. themselves on television yeah she must have somewhere or Maybe now just goes, oh, and she's like, I do not like that tripod. Get that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Cheyenne, Brian, thank you both. Uh, and uh, you, you mentioned, too, uh, we have about a minute left here, but um, she she's good with, with cats as far as you can tell. Obviously, you know, cat savvy dog, as, as mm -hmm. you mentioned. Um, for kids in that sense, uh, what types of things should a family, if they have smaller kids, be looking out? if they want to adopt her. I think an important conversation is just to talk about, you know, how the proper ways to, to act around a dog, to not move too fast, to not, you know, encourage their space too much, um, to be, you know, wary or aware of, uh, you know, where food might be that, you know, human or dog food, you know, how yeah. um, respectful they are of that space one way or the other. Um, there's a lot in our behavior staff, our adoption counseling staff, they're great. Um, not only during the process, but after the process, if you have questions, call us. That's what we're there for. We want to make it work for everybody. So. Yeah, and that, when 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 adopting uh, an animal, I think that's that is key. Is you have those resources mm -hmm. where if you have a question, you know, it's it's not that she's going to need to be returned. Let's work through this and yeah. try to help in that sense of make it a good situation for everybody. It's like anything else; it's change, and yeah. you have to be willing to kind of you know accept it, learn from it, and work with it. Absolutely. So again, our friend Cheyenne, uh, to learn more about her, chqhumane.org is the place to go. And of course, they have so much more information about all of the residents of the shelter posted there as well.